Hi, right, welcome back. It's Tim with Clear Care Company. Hope your day is going cool. Um, in this video, we're going to talk about blog images. And the first thing we're going to talk about is how they don't have to be that fancy. You know, way too many times and way too many people are like trying to make, you know, these works of art, masterpiece images thinking that it really makes a difference. And unless you have like a photography or a graphic design website where the focus of your blog is, you know, your ability to make graphics or photos and that sort of thing. Unless that's the case, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, this is a new blog that I just launched, Entrepreneur Click Here, uh, which is obviously entrepreneurclickhere.com. And you can see that the top of this particular blog post is very simple it is just a colored background a relative photo with you know the topic underneath i mean they don't have to be fancy keep them simple unless like i said unless your blog is about you know graphics and your ability to create graphics i mean i i, I can make fancy graphics but why would i because people don't care to be quite frank about it you know people don't really care they didn't come for the graphics they came for the article so that's in terms of your blog banner now other graphics that you have on your blog would be like buttons and things like that the same thing applies to your buttons like this one has two buttons on it and you can see they're very simple you know there's one there's the other uh, obviously keep them the same size Keep relative photos you know I chose to go with the same photo you know kind of themed with the same photo uh, since it was relative to the topic which is never a bad idea but that's my personal creative opinion um, now the thing that a lot of people don't talk about in terms of blog graphics and blog images is again it's personal preference based on experience but it's personal preference I believe that a Pinterest pin should be considered a standard blog image for all of your posts just because it makes a big difference in terms of marketing in terms of aesthetic too you know i even kind of like having the uh, images down here at the bottom and they're ready made people can just hit the button and they can share your blog post with all the pinterest on their boards with their followers which of course brings you more traffic to me pinterest pin is a standard you know blog image uh, it should be on all of your posts now let's get into a little more on how you know we go about this um, again y'all know me we're going to use photo director and the easiest way to do it you can see i've actually created templates there's my blog uh, banner template there's a blog graphic template my pinterest pin template and the website button template. Now, what do you notice about all these? They're simple. These are literally just templates so that they're sized correctly. This is the size of a blog banner. Yeah, this is the size for your blog graphic. These are the dimensions and the size for your Pinterest pin. And there's the best dimensions for a button that you're gonna put on your website. Now, I can go ahead and tell you these sizes but I'm gonna make it so much easier which is I'm gonna tell you if you click the link down in the description uh, you can download all of these and I'm actually going to put in a lot of social media templates that are just like this kind of like what I did for Pinterest in case you want to use them on your blogs or just on your actual social media you'll be able to download all of them in a zip file and then of course just extract all and you'll have all of them and you can put them you know in your favorite photo editor i would highly recommend photo director personally it's my favorite one uh, there's a link for that in the description too yes it is an affiliate link but as you can see i actually do use it it is my preference i'm not just recommending it to make money i'm recommending it because i do actually think it's the best option now let's see like we're going to take the blog banner template it's really simple you would obviously open it up you know with the template just open the image and then you can go up here uh, let's see we'll add a solid color just to make this simple 
Uh, yeah, let's go with blue. It goes right over it. And then you could do just say a text maybe up here. Uh, let's put uh, my post topic goes here which we will change that to black change it to a hundred maybe put it down well, grab it again, put it down here. All right, you just do that. Then we can go to a photo layer. And I don't know. This is a 90s pattern that I created for a blog post, actually ironically see and now that would be a relevant photo uh, obviously it probably wouldn't be this but who knows maybe it is so you see how fast that was I mean and then of course you can get a little fancier if you want but uh, as I said keep it simple uh, if you're spending that much time on your blog images and your blog graphics that means that you're not writing and people came for the content they came for the article so spend more time writing and planning that and monetizing it and less time worrying about what the graphics look like as long as they display you know decently you're fine now you see how simple that was like i said your photo would be relevant uh to your post and you can do something you know that simple and if you have three that are you know similar then all you'd have to do is just come up here hit the little eyedropper on the background color you can hit that and you know quickly change your background maybe you know have you know three versions of the same graphic you know maybe you're going to use three similar posts or if you just want options for one quick you know change them out real fast pick the one you want use it move on go to this one i don't want to save that uh, your blog graphic template same thing add your pictures all that if you're not using like a solid background over this one then it's actually quite simple like let's see let's do this and oh let's pick one uh, here like that's a Pinterest pen so obviously it covers the whole thing but if any of the templates showing just hit the eyeball for the background and it'll hide it so it's that simple you know like if we hide that you can see it's transparent now so you can do anything you want in here make your graphic export it and you're done keep it simple keep it fast uh, go to clickherecreatives.com uh, put in your name and email and you'll then check your email and you'll actually get a link uh, pretty much right away Give it about five minutes just to be sure, but you'll get a link right away. And you can go to the download page at clickyourcreatives.com. And it is the only way to access it. I will go ahead and tell you that. But it's only for the people who come here to my YouTube channel. It's my way of saying thank you. And yes, there will be more and more stuff added to that download page in the future. So go ahead. Visit that. Do that. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button and bye for now.